Hi, and welcome back to Best Book Reviews. Today I'll be reviewing the book Don't Tell the Nazis by Marsha Forchuk Skyrupuk. That's quite a name. Um, this book has 226 pages, and I really like this book. I think that this is a good book because of the ever-evolving plot and the amazing characters, like the main character, um, Chris Christia, who is kind and brave. So this book is about that girl named Christia, who lives in Ukraine under the Soviet rule in 1941. So the Soviet Union was originally nice to everyone, but then became really harsh and mean to everyone there, because they were technically not Russians. So, so this is in 1941 when. Uh, the Nazis actually invaded the Soviet Union, and when the Nazis invaded the Soviet Union, everyone everyone in the town thought that they came to free the town, or like liberate the town from the Soviet Union, but they were actually there to take over the town. And um, after and they never told anyone about this, but after people started suspecting this, they started doing things like they were doing in the German homeland, like taking people to the ghettos, killing anyone who wasn't, um, who wasn't listening to them. And one of Chris, and one of Christia, the main character's friends, was Jewish, the main people who got sent to the ghetto, besides some criminals. And they, and Christia wanted to help, um, his friend, her friend, get food in the ghetto, because food was scarce in the ghetto. Uh, because the Nazis did not, um, give them enough food, but since she's not Jewish or a criminal, she's not allowed in the ghetto, which is a big problem for her. If she because if she wants to get food to her friend, then she'll have to break in, and she does break in, which is a crime punishable by death. You'll have to figure out what happens next in the story. So here's some more about the author. So the author Marsha Forchuk's Gyri Puk is a Ukrainian Canadian. She comes from Ukraine and lives in Canada, and she writes a lot of books like these about World War II. Like, she also wrote a book called Making Bombs for Hitler and Stolen Child, and I recommend her. She's a really amazing author, and um, I've read her books for a long time now, I think two years, and I think I've finished all, almost all of them. And I would recommend this book to anyone above 10 years old, but it's not really that bad. Um, younger kids can read it as well, but that's, that, this is just the age level I would recommend it to. So, I hope you enjoyed this book review, and I hope, and I hope you'll come back and subscribe for more. Okay, bye guys, see you next time.